evening, everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore, and we're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for tonight's main event. 15 rounds among hungry featherweights. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. All right, gentlemen. Protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. Nice work, the left hand to the head. When you have a lot of speed, how effective can a feint be? Oh boy, it could be really effective because your opponent is keyed up already. Before the bell even rings, he's jumping out of his shoes. He's waiting for something to come quick, so you let him think it's coming, he's gonna react to it. And then you go get him. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Side to side, move your head. El Terrible's jab can do so much there. He used it well that time. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. And just grabbing onto his opponent. Good job with the left hand. It was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by El Terrible. Way through this round. Bazooka's almost looking foolish that time he missed so bad. El Terrible's hit by a counter punch there. to get away from those punches. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Able to show you his blocking ability. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he was doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I noticed is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You, you have to pick him up from down. the stool. No he's got all his weight forward. He can't fight. wait to get going. You know base. that he's positive. You know that he had a good round. underway well off the mark by bazooka a little head hunting with the right 
Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Able to dismiss that body shot. Use the ring. Use the ring. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Let it go. Not able to land the headshot. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. He gets to him with an uppercut. Oh, man, he's in rough shape after absorbing that blow. He goes from damaged goods to defensive goods. Yeah, because right now he's fighting on instinct. He's doing things without even thinking, just automatic things, things that he was taught five years ago, three years ago, that maybe he thought about, but he didn't do. Now they're just coming out. He's just naturally surviving. Good, strong uppercut. He comes right back with it after taking one. One, two, one, two. Locks away that headshot. Straight right was lined up, but he missed. that punch by Bazooka. All right, breathe. Good. Deep breath. Deep breath. Get some water in you. There you go. You're good. You all right? You're okay, right? Breathe for me. Now listen, you threw a wide punch and he caught you. You're going to tighten up your punches, all right? Double up your punches and keep the lead, all right? Bazooka is fine. I'm looking at him starting this round right now, coming off a round where he was rocked, and I'm telling you, he looks perfectly good. the headshot, but he parries it away. Gets rid of that body shot. A well-timed right hand by Bazooka. Bazooka's found the punch that'll always excite a crowd, and that's that, that straight hand, that power shot. You can see it coming, and there it is. Well, he must be pretty happy that he's got an opponent that throws all wide, all round punches, because straight beats round. Wide shots that aren't sharp or targeted. That has been his problem tonight. 90 seconds to go here in this round. And he ties up on the inside.
just an excessive amount of holding here. Just much too much clinching. Bazooka is making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. And he clinches yet again. Defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. El Terrible is in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that? A credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Bazooka's just punching air that time. His Good opponent job. was able to get out of the way. All right, all right. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. Keep doing what you're doing. Is it? When he reaches in, let that right hand go. All right? Uh, you gotta breathe. Just breathe. Relax. How you feeling out there? Now you're not. Always good to get off to a good start, and that's exactly what he's done tonight on Teddy's scorecard, sweeping the first three rounds. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Keep doing what you're doing. Worship Well off the mark by Bazooka. You know, when we sat with these guys yesterday in preparation for this broadcast, we asked them, all right, what's your favorite punch? They both had the same response. We like them all. Oh, that's a smart fighter, because you want to be as versatile, as rounded as possible. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Halfway through round number four. El Terrible's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. He's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. All out action throughout this round. Let's see how they finish it up. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep nice right. work with the overhand right. What? What? Bazooka's got to be careful here, Teddy, because he can't stay like this. Yes, he's throwing punches, but not being effective at all. No, he's not. He's not landing. And that's bad for the scorecards, but as he continues doing this, it's going to be bad for his chin because he's going to... Solid shot. The left hand came in. Oh, and there you go. He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. <laughs> But he's going to continue on, beating the count. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds.
Round comes to an end. Knockdown was scored in that round. So, Teddy, you're working the corner of the guy who was just on the floor. What are you telling him? You're telling him that if he's been down before, you want to actually use that for a positive. I know that sounds crazy, but you say, hey, you've been here before. You've overcome it. You want to remind him that he can get back. And then the most important thing, Joe, is you tell him why he got dropped. So when he goes out there, he's not just scared going into a dark place saying, gee, it's going to happen again. He knows he has control. Bazooka's got to hope that these 60 seconds are going to pay off for him here. Went down hard in that last round. He's got to gather himself because you know his opponent's going to come right after him when that bell rings. Targets his opponent after blocking a shot. And there. now just wasting Get everybody's time there. holding on. Bazooka's coming out here after being knocked down in the previous round. How important is it for him to be cautious here, to make sure that he does have his lanes underneath? You know, it's a little bit of a double-edged sword there, Joe, because if you're too cautious, hey, your opponent, he reads it. You're not in that ring alone, you know, and then he's going to get more aggressive. So you want to go out there, maybe he's paying him a little bit. Let him think you're okay. Let him think you want to go after him. Let him think you want to engage a little bit and then wind up boxing, staying on the outside, buying some time. A sharp jab by El Terrible. El Terrible is swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. in a bad place right now. He was tagged. Oh! And he crashes to the canvas once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? One, two, three, four. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Keep moving. Get out of there. Pace yourself. Get into the punch. Punch. Keep moving. Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. It's all right. He's moving. On a level. <laughs> end of the round there, a round in which we did see the knockdown. And Teddy, when a fighter comes back to the corner, having just been floored, typically, how are they acting? What are you seeing out of that? Just imagine you just walked into a room and somebody hit you from behind. You dropped. You're afraid to go in that room again. So? Put a light on in that room and explain to him why he got dropped. Relax, he will not okay. be afraid okay. to go keep back in that room. I mean, keep them up, all right? I mean, you know, he caught you with your hands down. Let's keep him up. All right. Listen, he's going to come forward this round, all right? Keep that jam moving. Yeah, keep him away from you, all right? Look at me. Start of the round, but Teddy, it could be the end of the fight. He's been knocked down numerous times, including the last round. You're probably right, Joe, but when things are darkest is when you find out what is special inside somebody, where they can go to a place you never expect them to be able to go to. Look at Archie Moore, Yvonne Durrell, years ago. Archie Moore was over 40 years old, in there with a 20. Boom, left hand comes home. Did you see that? Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. 
crawling like a sack of potatoes. Beats the count again. Teddy, I've heard you say it time and time again. Too tough for his own good. Well, this is the case. This is the kind of fighter that really needs a trainer to look out for. Because a lot of fighters, they look out for themselves. They get hurt, they get themselves out of there one way or the other. Wow! That was a big shot that scored him. And it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. the fight. Bazooka's a knockout victim. He couldn't beat the count. Terrible's power that we saw throughout the night building a lead on your scorecard now ends the night with a knockout victory. And it begins the next night, the next dawn, the dawn of the new beginning. More money. Knockouts bring money. Good, enjoyable, entertaining fight it was. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us.